So here we'll see how to convert this list view builder to grid view builder and we'll also see why it's important. Now one thing first we have to see that over here we have generated 100,000 list of map and they have this unique ID and we have used this ID to create the products name over here and then we saved it in this variable over here. Now the variable is used over here to get the length. Now how to convert this list view builder to grid view just simply remove this list view with grid view and over here you need to set up a parameter or property actually which is called grid delegate now it takes a widget now this is the widget it takes now the widget it takes is this one over here which is called silver grid delegate with max cross axis extent and it takes few of these properties actually pretty much all of them are important especially the first two now we'll go ahead and save it and see the result and we see it like this now definitely over here we have set the height so let's remove the height now we see the three items in each row or we'll say it has the three columns now how many columns should be there it depends on the width of the screen as well as this value so Flutter automatically figures out that how many columns should be there. So this property is influenced by max cross axis extent value. Of course, we can change it to something like, say, for example, 420. So in this case, we'll have just one item on each row or just one column because this is much more bigger than the screen width. So now, of course, let's change it to 220. And here we see that we have two items. So this doesn't mean the width of this each grid, but it does control that how many items you'd be able to show or display on a cross axis alignment. The bigger it is, the fewer grids you see on cross axis alignment. Now, if you go ahead and set it to 100 and we'll see that there are more grid. So this value works with the total screen width and based on that, grid builder draws the number of items you should be you should have on this horizontal axis now from this properties you know that they work for left and right and top and bottom spacing or padding pretty much like that now this doesn't really matter this is the aspect ratio so we can change it to one so this has to do with how it should look we'll put it back to something like this so now this way it looks much better. Now another advantage of using Grid View Builder is that it helps you save memory. Why? Because when you have this amount of information or list item in your Flutter app, your Flutter app may crash or freeze because it's too much drawing for Flutter app. Now if you use GridView.Builder, it would draw on demand. So as you scroll up and down, then it would start drawing the coming items or the incoming item this so it saves the memory and the power of your mobile so hopefully it makes sense so whenever you have tons of thousands of items in a list and you want to draw them grid view.builder should be your best option thank you